with me just a second. I'm just getting things set up here. Or trying to. We're half up, halfway ready. I'm trying this again. I've got to mute this. All right. Make sure I'm in camera here. Please say hello. Hello, Carol. I see you just popped on here. Just trying to get things set up here, and it's Facebook's giving me a little bit of grief tonight. So I'm going to go back out and come back in and see what happens. Ta-da! There we go. All right. Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome to Stamp with Shell. My name is Shell Anderson, and I'm an independent demonstrator located in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. Tonight, we're going to be having a play with a couple of bundles, and we're going to be making two cards tonight. The first bundle that we're playing with is the Dainty Delight Bundle. And this is what the dies look like when you cut them out. There's a whole bunch of beautiful dies in there. It's very soft, very, very feminine. Well, we're going to make it feminine, but it's not going to be very soft when we're done with it tonight. Oops, my paper's upside down. All right, so I am going to bring in the items that I'm going to use as well as the Dainty Delights. I'm using the Butterfly Brilliance dies only. I am using the Stylish Shapes dies. And I am using the Adorable Owls dies. All I'm using out of this set is just the greeting that says, my friend. All right, we are going to get started. So I have lots and lots and lots of bits and pieces for this one. I have done some, I have done some pre-cutting or we'd be here all night. You don't need to see me die cut. So there's a whole bunch of bits. We'll just put those off to the side. And well, my sleeve keeps catching on that paper. There we go. My card base today is, there's Miss Pam. Hello, Pam. My card base today is basic black. And I have the standard basic white for the inside of our card. I'll drop a glue there. 
and we are going to put that right on the inside of our card right off the hop. Just like so. And then we're going to burnish that flat. I used one of our new basics embossing folder. Um, and this is a piece of Parakeet Party. And I hope that you can see, yeah, you can see very good tonight. I was having troubles trying to show these the other night. But those showing really good there tonight. So I have a piece of Parakeet Party. And I have this frame. That is from the Color and Contours dies. I was making another card and I wanted to cut out this die. And I thought, I just threw it on the piece of paper and it was kind of helter-skelter like this, but on the paper. And I thought, if I put that straight on and tried to match my borders, I could use this for something instead of tossing it. So that, that is how this card was born. So I have got the frame and then this is just a wee bit smaller so that it will fit in behind. Isn't that pretty? So what I'm going to do is on the back side of the frame, I am going to put my adhesive. I've got glue stuck everywhere already. It's not going to be a good night if you're going to be all glued up first, start, first thing. All right, and I'm just going to leave it upside down and press this into it. And then it's perfect. Perfect. Now, I am going to, oops, it's not s sealed yet. I've got to give it a minute. All that embossing. I am going to add lots more adhesive. And I'm going to put this down on our card front. And just try to match our borders. And there we go. I'm going to give that a minute. All right. Now I've left this up so I can tuck some items under here. Um, I have pre-done a whole bunch of these uh, dainty, dainty, what's it called again? Dainty something. Dainty Delight dies. And I am going to just create a little scene on the front of this card. So I took the big sprig and I've actually cut that in two so that I can have, well I did have two pieces. Am I looking right at it or have I lost it already? <laughs> oh, there it is. Looking right at it. Blind as a bat. I knew I cut it in two because I did that this morning before I went to work. All right. So, I think that will create kind of a nice little filler. And we can tuck some of these in here. And I did various ones. I don't know how many we're going to need. We can just work with it. But you see how they 
pop right off that card base. So I'm going to start with this one. Oh, there's a leaf. Actually, I'm going to start with this one. And I am going to put it so that it kind of goes off the edge. Yes, this would have been a good time to use adhesive sheets. There we go. Kind of like it going off the edge there a wee bit. And I don't know if I want this to go like this and then this to go off it. You know what I'm trying to say? I could I could extend it. I think that's what I want to do is extend it up a little bit, but be able to choose the direction, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. So I'm going to put lots of glue on the back here because this is a heavily embossed piece. And we will place this one down. And then I'll do the same with this one, and then we'll figure out where we want to put it. Actually, how this card all came to be is I was trying to make another card. Well, actually, I saw a video online, and I liked the card that the lady did. But it gave me an idea, and I had this kind of light bulb moment. Um, I need a long paper piercer so that I can lift that up and tuck that under. There we go. It's kind of what I was thinking. Now, I kind of like these ones too. They're kind of interesting. Anyway, back to my story. Um, I saw it was the card that I saw was made by a lady in the US named Patty Bennett. And I love the card that she made, but it gave me an idea. And I kind of had this light bulb moment. And um, I went, I wonder if that would work. So then I went off and got some retired paper and started playing. And that's when I was die cutting this shape for the other card that we're going to do tonight. And had that, oh, well, let's just make two cards by cutting that smartly. So that's how this card was born, but I didn't want it to be soft. I wanted it to be bold, and I wanted it to be, I don't know what you what you call this, but I call this shadow shapes, you know what I mean? They're uh, kind of all over the place, but bold. Oh, I like that. Just cutting down that one helped immensely. To do a little fill in, like so. And I think I will cut one of these down. And do the same. And then perhaps we will put some leaves in. Yes, Carol, I see your comment that you like the idea of the frame. Um, yeah, it's better than tossing it in the garbage, right? 
why not make a second card out of it? And by tucking the, the stems down below, it kind of looks like they're not just floating on the card, right? It kind of looks like they're planted in the ground. All right, now we're going to get some tweezers. And see if we can add some of these leaves here or there to make these look a little more realistic. And these are embossed. There's a, a line. I don't know whether the camera will even focus on this. I'll hold it here for a minute until it catches up. Um, if I get down here so you can see. Can you see the line on there? It's kind, They're kind of cool. So I'm just going to pop some here or there. No rhyme or reason. And if you Blue Bomber football fans here today that uh, Shown is staying with us for another year. He didn't get picked up by the NFL. Bad for him, good for us. I was very happy by that. Um, um, no, I think I'll go the other way. Maybe a couple more. I'm not going to go crazy. I think I might put another one there. Uh, this way. And I think one more and we're done. Just one more, I promise. Just kind of fill it in until it looks good to you, right? All right, I'm happy with that. Now I have these little butterflies that I cut from the Butterfly Brilliance die. And I thought I put little pearls on them. I thought that was a neat way to embellish and then I have this greeting that says my friend and it's crooked and it's going to drive me crazy so I am going to grab my snips and I'm going to trim it down these are not snips these are shears I'll use my snips on the ends because I want to try my best To get it straight and I find if I use long bladed shears I do a better job I'd rather trim it down and it look right <laughs> than have it crooked as soon as I was die cutting these pieces at four o'clock this morning <laughs> and trying to get things ready. We've been crazily busy at my day job and I've been going in early and coming home later. All right, so there's my little greeting. I think maybe that should go like that.
and I want to put the edges of that little butterfly up so we have a mama butterfly and a baby and maybe another baby over here I don't know whether we need three or not I'm just kind of laying it out we'll see as we go and then I have a little gingham bow kind of something like that let's trim those tails down because this needs to be much smaller that would be good I almost <laughs> you guys can't <laughs> you guys can't see this but this is the cord that's plugged into my iPhone which is above the table I pretty near cut the cord to my iPhone or to my uh earbud microphone that would have been good <laughs> get zapped live on a facebook live <laughs> oh boy sorry struck me as funny <laughs> you heard about him did you carol that's good yeah silhouette shadow yes you are correct i would get it right eventually thank you carol Good thing you got my back, girl. <laughs> I'm having a day. All right, glue dots. Oh, here's a little tip for you. Has anybody noticed that when we get our glue dots, they're backwards? They're not on the roll, they're on here. Does it not drive you crazy? They used to be, right? And now they're not they're doing them different and I don't like it so I have a fix for you take your glue dots unroll it and re-roll it backwards it takes about 30 seconds and it makes me much happier <laughs> I don't like things that aren't how they're supposed to be like butterflies flying in the wrong direction <laughs> Oh boy, I'm having a night. <laughs> There's a story behind that too. Um, <laughs> years ago, Carol was at a class and she put her butterflies on her card and they were, in my mind, going in the wrong direction. And I said to her, what are you doing? I said, your butterfly should, should be going in the same direction. She just looked at me as if I was an alien. <laughs> Ah, uh, funny. <laughs> All right. I'm just going to put that little bow there. And that's going to be that card. Pretty cool. Now, if you want to wait a minute, I will show you the one that I made using the scrap bin. These were all things that were pre-cut in my scrap bin. The, this was even stamped this little bow was in my scrap bin this butterfly was from days gone by i don't even know which one it is so basically this was a scrap card the only thing i that wasn't scrap was the card stock and uh, so there you go stuff in my scrap bin and then i cut this one and used all those little fine dainty delights all right that's card one so I have some some more additions to go in my bits box and we'll use those on future cards I'm sure and then we have this to go in the garbage and we can bring in our second card how'd you like that first one pretty cool eh all right our next card is going to be using the greatest journey bundle let me get rid of these and bring in the greatest journey bundle i love this bundle it is it's all outdoorsy stuff it's good for kids it's good for guys i love it can't say enough good things about it 
All right, so you see what the dies look like. I'm going to pull the bundle over and I am going to bring in the supplies for our cart. Now, I'm going to briefly explain the card that inspired my card. This was a card that Patty Bennett did and it is a fun fold. I have no idea what it's called. Basically, the entire card is made out of DSP, so it showcases the DSP on both sides, right? And her car, this is just retired DSP that I used to try this. Her card is 11, uh, sorry, five and a half by, uh, Where's my book? I'm going to tell you wrong. I am going to tell you wrong. Hang on just a second. Her card was five and a half by 12. Five and a half by 12 scored at four, six, and eight. The middle fold is a mountain fold and the others are valleys. So when you open the card, she glued in here together. So this would be glued together, right? And then when you open the card, she had a little critter or something on here. And I thought that was a cute card. Um, but it gave me an idea. And I thought, yeah, I kind of like that little critter on there. But what if it was a gift card holder? Okay. So that's how this card was born. This is the piece that I wanted to have for the inside of my card. So the frame that I used on my first card was the offcut from that. Then I have a piece of basic black that I am going to use for a matte layer for my DSP card. Give it some stability. I also have a piece of basic white that I'm going to use as a matte layer. Now, if I so desired, I could have cut this out of here and just used one piece of cardstock, but I wanted to make the two cards, okay? So let's put these two pieces together first and then I can get them out of the way and explain the rest of the card. It's really easy. It's not hard, I promise you. If I can do it, you can too. All right, so there's that. Set it aside. So hers was five and a half by 12 scored at um, scored at four six and eight I did mine five and a quarter by six and I scored at four and I scored at two so Basically, I had this piece of cardstock, cut it in half, scored this one at two, or either way, you know what I'm trying to say here? It's just split in the middle. So I want this to be my card front. All right, so that's my card front. Now, when you open the card, this is what the inside looks like. Here you have choices. If you want to have scenery on the inside, you could leave it like that. I personally do not, so I'm going to flip it upside down and have my inside continuous. Okay? So this is my front of my card. This is the inside of my card. This is going to be glued down. You're not going to see it anyway. Okay? Bring hers back in. This is what hers look like. Okay? Mine is just split in half. 
like so. Now, what I'm going to do is take my glue and I'm going to go a fine line of glue on three sides. Right? Then we're going to butt these together. And make them even. Oops. Make them even and stay even. Not move on me. Maybe we'll just give them a little back rub for a minute. All right, that should do it. So there is my card. And if I had a gift card, I don't, so I'll just use a business card. It would slide right in the pocket. So when they open the card, oh, there's a Tim Hortons card. Yay. All right, now I'm going to take this and put adhesive on this piece. And if you wanted this to be the front of your card, you could make that the front. I just like the piece with the moon or the sun, whatever, however you're looking at it. To me, it looks like a moon. And we'll just, and just that little, little white around the outside just makes it pop a little, right? All right, now on the inside, we're going to put my scallop contour so that we have a nice place to write a message. And on the outside, I have this guy on a bike. Oh, I just remembered something. I was so excited to show you this fold. I forgot to do my stamping. And I have my card all together. Well, guess what? We're going to pull out the stamp apparatus. And do our stamping. I don't recommend this, but when you mess up like I just did, you don't have too much choice. <laughs> All right, I'm going to open this card up, put my magnet on, might use two magnets tonight just to make sure that this doesn't go willy wonka on me. And I want the greeting that says mountains of thanks. Now, I'm going to have to pull this down for a minute. That kind of looks straight to me. Let me have a peek. That looks pretty good. All right. Now we need some ink, my friends. So actually, if you tried this card, you could try one because I have how I what I did is I basically cut my piece of paper in half. I have the other half of this piece right 
this is my waist from cutting. So I've got this strip that went down the middle. This is the other piece. So you could do a regular card the way that she did it and a gift card holder out of one piece of paper. And then you'd still have this left over. doing things backwards here but it seems to be working out for me so that's a good thing we'll take care of that after the video and I don't think I'm going to do anything more than that this is kind of a card that could be it's a generic card could be used for a guy could be used for a girl I think I'm just going to leave it in case I want to use it for a guy. I'm not putting any embellishments on here. And there's our little gift card holder. Cool beans, eh? All right, I'll show you the sample I made using just um, stuff out of my bits box. This is my template. And... I've got my imaginary Tim Hortons card in here and I had this gold um, circle, gold foil circle in my bits box and I thought it went great with this paper. I used some retired gems on this one, some retired ribbon and this white circle and this green leaves were in my bits box. so. Basically, that card was just made out of garbage. <laughs> so there's our cards for tonight. Those two. And what did I do with the other two? Oh, here they are. And here's our two original cards. That's it, my friends. That's how easy it is to come up with some really cool ideas and I thank Pat Patty for showing this card because this card that she made is the inspiration for the whole thing and uh, I think I may take this card and make it into a card but I'm going to do it backwards so that it's not the same I'm going to use it like that and all this prettiness will be on the inside anyway I just wanted to share those with you and I hope you enjoyed it I will uh, talk to you all real soon, and thanks for stopping by. Bye-bye.